Alright, so again, geometric sequences, we use a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power. And um, yesterday we were given the a value, the first term, uh, the a1 value, and we were given our rate or ratio. I keep saying rate. Um, we were given both of those two things, so we plugged them in and we were good to go. Uh, also, we looked at if we had a random term and the ratio, then we can solve for our a1 and then plug those guys in, right? So what we're going to do today is, if we have two terms and we don't know what our uh, ratio is, so if we don't know what our first term is and we don't know what our ratio is, uh, what we can do is use these guys. <clears throat> so what does this first one tell me? Let me actually listen to the second term. So it's the second term. The second term is equal to twelve. So twelve is the second term in my in my series here. Oh, the second one is the fifth term is the negative seven. Beautiful. My second, my fifth term is negative 768. So I'm going to do these steps here. I'm going to write a system of equations. So my first equation should be this guy plugged into here. So I can say that I have 12 is equal to a1 times r raised to the 2 minus 1 power, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So just plugging in what we know. We don't know what the first term is. We don't know what the ra uh, ratio is. So we're leaving those as variables. And I'm going to write another equation using this one. And that one should look like what? Good. So I have this system of equations. Now I can kind of clean them up just a little bit. Um, this one, if I simplify my, uh, my, my exponent there, 2 minus 1 would give me 1. So I can just write this as 12 equals a1 times r. And then the other equation would be written as negative 768 equals a1 r to the fourth power. So now I have these two equations, and what does step two say in my steps? Substitute solve for r. So we're going to use substitution. You guys remember how this works? No. I'll show you how it works then. So what we want to do here is we want to solve for a variable. We're going to solve for a1. So I'm going to get a1 by itself by dividing both sides by r. So now I have a1 is equal to 12 over r. That makes sense. I'm going to take this value here, and I'm going to substitute it for a1 in this equation. So this is going to be plugged in right over here. You have to do that? Yes. Oh my god. I sure can. So then we get negative 768 is equal to... 12 over r times r to the fourth. Still doing okay? No. Am I losing you guys? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Where am I losing you? I don't know. The r. Since you started the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Since the beginning of the year. I don't know which ones to uh, read. <laughs> so let me keep going, and then I'll, I'll cover anything that might be confusing later. So I have 12 r to the fourth over r, right? Can I simplify that down? Yes. Yeah. If I have four r's in my numerator and I have one r in the denominator, I can cancel them out, and I'm left with how many r's in the numerator? Four r's. Three. Three r's. So what I'm doing is this. Oh. Right? Oh. 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 <laughs> so now I have negative 768 equals 12 r to the third power. Can I solve for r? No. 
Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, divide both sides by 12. And I get something. Six. Negative something. Negative 64. Negative 64. To get rid of that um, third power, I can use my radical, find the third root on both sides, and r is equal to positive or negative four. Negative four. Now that I have r, I can find out what a is, and I can plug in and, and write my whole rule. Uh, from here, this is this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to take my original equation here, 12 equals a1 times r, and I'm going to plug in my r value. So I'm going to say that 12 equals a1 times my r value is negative 4. If I solve for a1, divide both sides by negative 4, A1 is negative 3. Yeah. So taking this value, plugging it in here. Are we done? No. One more step. We never are done. One more step. One more step. Last one. Last one is we're going to take our A value and our R value and plug it into this guy. It takes a second. It's not that bad. And That's one extra second we're doing work. So my sorry. So plugging in my A1, my A1 is negative 3, my R value is And we're raising this to the n minus one power, and that's it. We're oh. done. Plugging yeah, it in is easy, right? Because we just have to plug in the two numbers. I thought we had to get solved. No, that's all. We're just writing the whole thing. Yes. Yes. Time consuming, yes, but the math itself isn't too bad, hopefully. Yeah. Let's read it all again. Questions on this? Summary? Not yet. I want to do one more thing and then we'll go. That's our bell. It's not our bell. Okay. 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 Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. I know you're excited to see us again. So we have two Valentine grams, one for me, Alexandra. That's me. Uh, <laughs> And then Esther. Esther. Oh, that's Alexander. I got one time. All right. Here, give us the other one. Is that Alexander? Yeah. Oh, really? Thank you. I like your pot. Thanks.